The peace of Christ be within you. And also within you. Thank you. Receiving the peace of Christ is the best gift there is all week long. Thank you so much. And that peace of Christ gets us ready for the next part of worship. And it's the part of worship that we call time for discovery. So in discovery uh, time, we talk about stories in the Bible. And we learn a whole bunch of cool things about the Bible. And so we've been in, in Matthew, and we've been talking about special stories called parables. So if you've been around, you know parables are kind of crazy stories sometimes. So we have to kind of hang in there and see kind of like what's the, what's the big point of the story today. So we have lots of helpers with the story today. And the first thing we need is the boss. We need somebody to be the boss. So here we, oh, here we have the boss now. You're going to be the boss of the pair. Hello, are you the boss? I am for this minute. Yes. <laughs> so you are the boss today in the servant. So good for you. And I hear you have some servants or some workers eventually. So we'll, we'll, we'll get in a minute. and I, I hear that you're leaving town. Is that true? I'm out of here. So what are you going to do while you're out of town? You could be going to Disney, whatever, yeah. But while you're out of town, you might need some help with some stuff, right? My servants will. Okay. So can you guys help us? We need some servants today. And then um, because the boss is going to be out of town, and the boss is going to put you guys in charge. Okay, so you guys figured out who's going to do what? So we have like three different groups of servants. We have one group. You guys figure that out. We have a, a second group. And then we have a third group over here. Yeah, so Alicia's going to be there. So, so we need lots of servants because the, you know, the boss is going to be out of town. Okay, so let's make sure. So, all right, so... Joanne, you're going to help this group of servants? Okay, so you guys, you help this group of servants. So watch Joanne. Okay, you're going to be big helpers today. So you guys are going to be helpers today, and you can watch Heather and the group, okay? So you guys hang out together. And then, Alicia, you'll be servant number three. What could possibly happen? Hmm. And so then... Uh, Jonathan's going to be there to kind of help us with some stuff today also. So, does, okay, so are you ready to go? You're going to head out of town. You got some wonderful workers here. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the parable today in the Gospel of Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. For it is as if a person going on a journey summoned the servants and entrusted prosperity, property, excuse me, to them. To one was given five talents. To another, To another, two talents. And to another, one talent. To each according to their ability. Then the person went away. The one who received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents.
But the one who received one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, the master of the house of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. The master said, Well done, good and faithful, trustworthy servants. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with two talents came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. Oh, the master said, well done, good and faithful, trustworthy servant. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I know that you were a harsh person, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground, and here it is. Here you have what is yours. Oh, but the master replied, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from this one and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those that have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. And as for this worthless servant, throw this one into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> the word of the Lord. This is the... Let's have a listen and repeat prayer today. Wow. <laughs> Dear God, Dear God, thank you for your stories. Thank you for your stories. Help us to understand. Help us to understand how you want us to live life. How you want us to live life. In Jesus name, amen. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you for helping this crazy story come to life today.